friends in order to make this uh, pickle for that i have taken six mangoes raw mangoes so friends what i did is i have already washed the mangoes and i have cut them in small dice check this is the size what we require in order to make a spicy mango pickle first process first step is we need to apply salt and keep it for overnight so i have taken 4 tablespoon of salt for 6 mangoes you to add extra salt in this little bit extra i have added that's why i have taken 4 tablespoon this is this has salt keeps you to preserve so once you apply salt we need to keep this overnight even if you put some weight on this it is even better now this we are going to cover this and keep it on the side so friends uh, once we once i have applied salt to this now i will show how to put weight this will help to release more water which will we will require for the process now i have kept this stone the uh, grinder which we call if you don't have this you can use a vessel a small vessel full of water or you can use regular stones just to keep pressure on that uh, on the mango so this will release water soon so we will keep this overnight so friends uh, our mangoes are which we had kept overnight they are ready now first thing what we'll do is we need to strain the water and uh, this one we need to keep it separate the water we need to boil it let the water drain properly meanwhile we'll keep the masala ready what we need is uh, 25 each of uh, kashmiri chilies these are not spicy so I, i prefer this one if you use packet what happens is you get sometimes spicy and, and the pickles become very very spicy so it's better to use kashmiri red chili it gives you better color and they are not spicy as well then you have mustard seeds which is 1 tablespoon then i have a peppercorn black peppercorn which is 20 each then i have hing which is a black hing and then i have a fenugreek seeds which is 1 teaspoon also i have teal oil it is very good for making of pickle so oil i have taken Uh, 300 ml of uh, oil which uh, we need to boil it and uh, leave it aside to get a room temperature same thing with the water we need to boil this water from the mangoes and leave it aside to get a room temperature so we need to boil this separately not together and uh, now the next step is we need to dry roast the ingredients let's get started so my pan is already hot now we'll add first thing is mustard seed now this four ingredients we need to dry roast and uh, chili you have to make powder separately we'll use a uh, put fenugreek methi seeds black pepper corn and hing this is ready now We'll turn off the flame and we'll set it aside 
in order to get cool it down and then we need to blend it separately and the chilies dry powder separately friends let's uh, crackle some mustard seeds for the pickle first we lay oil once the oil is hot half a teaspoon of mustard seeds friends now since everything is ready now we'll do the mixing part this is the masala which we had uh, dry roast and made powder and this one is the chili powder dry powder we have to mix this is the water from the mangoes which we had boiled and kept it for room temperature and we'll add half of the oil now to make the mixture this is mixed well we'll add mangoes to this So not to forget we have mustard seeds to mix along with this so now we'll add the mustard seeds once this is mixed properly this is ready to serve now uh, here what you have to do is you need to store it in a airtight glass jar you can use like this this is a airtight container once you fill the pickle in that you need to pour oil the remaining oil on top of that make sure that the oil level is more than the mangoes and you can store it and keep you can use it for Leave this for at least uh, four to five days, and then you need to have a better taste. You can use it after that. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for staying till the end. Please like, share, and subscribe.